FAO, with funding from the European Union, promotes environmental sustainability in agriculture with the ACP MES 3 program. FAO's ACP MES project in St. Lucia and the Caribbean is working in four main focus areas. Those are forestry and agroforestry, management of plant genetic resources for food and agriculture, responsible pesticides management, including farmer capacity building through farmer field schools, and enhancement of the regional cocoa sector. We used to catch crayfish in the rivers, drink directly from the rivers. Now we are no longer able to do that. Through this project, we were able to plant about 1,500 species of forest trees along the riverbank. So you're hoping when these trees grow, they will be able to stabilize the soil. The forestry, the planting is very good because first it protects my agriculture, then the village too, because it used to, when we have overflowing river, it even crosses to the village and we're having a lot of problems with this. So it is very useful to us. We have supported the preparation of a rapid assessment of the state of St. Lucia's plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. Plant genetic resources is very important for our food security, food and nutrition security, um, livelihoods. So what we have realized over the years is that the farmers have been coming to appreciate some of the resources, the gen plant genetic resources that are around us. Our farmers, they are very dependent on pesticides. As any little problem, they'll, they'll, they'll get a pesticide. So these are some of the issues that we face in terms of highly hazardous pesticides. They need to be regulated. We need, in order for that to be done, we need to strengthen pesticide legislation and we need to introduce alternatives to the farmers. Aiming for a safe management of pesticides, ACP MIS 3 works on assessing national procedures and practices related to pesticide policies analyzing customs control processes for pesticides imports to defeat illicit pesticides, updating the FFS manual about pesticide management good practices, and training farmers to promote the use of ecosystem-based alternatives to synthetic pesticides. As it relates to enhancement of the cocoa sector, we have provided training to farmers in St. Lucia as well as to agricultural extension officers in ecosystem-friendly cocoa agronomy and safe methods of post-harvest management of cocoa that rely less on, for example, harmful pesticides or chemical inputs. So right now they, they hired me as a trainer and we um, ran the training session. It was excellent. The farmers benefited a lot from this training session. So right now with the group I, I, I organized, we are turning cocoa into different products. So meaning my life has changed. And even the community life is going to change because we're doing so many different products with the cocoa. It's truffles, uh, cocoa blocks, cocoa stick, cocoa powder, chocolate, name it. So it has changed our life. And I wanted to change the whole community. When we think of biodiversity, we think of the biological resources, we think of the ecosystems and the ecosystem services that they provide. When we look at agriculture, fisheries, and other economic sectors, without the natural resource base, we would not have viable sectors. So for us, biodiversity and ecosystems are very, very important. We're hoping to take the accomplishments and the successes that we've achieved in St. Lucia and share those with neighboring countries in the Eastern Caribbean so that our best practices, our lessons learned, the capacity that we've built, will be able to expand that to other countries in the region and build their capacity as well for sustainable agriculture, for ecosystem-friendly agriculture, for sustainable livelihoods, and for climate-resilient agriculture as well. One of the major achievements in St. Lucia has been the improvement of the cocoa farming sector, which has placed St. Lucia as a leading country with one of the best cocoa qualities that is now being recognized worldwide. 
So far, over 200 farmers across five communities have joined the workshops from the MIAS program, which has also enabled them to revegetate and repair three important degraded rivers, helping to create a more sustainable and resilient environment that promotes sound pesticide practices while safeguarding the biodiversity of the region. For more information about the program, please click in the link in the description and access the ACP MIAS3 website.